Hey guys, what's good? What's going on? Welcome back for another video. Truly appreciate you tuning in and you being here. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit like vlog style and more so though just like a sit down like chit chat, life update, moving situation. Just a whole, you know, compilation of everything that's going on in my life right now. Um, it's funny, the other day I asked you guys on Instagram story, I did a little poll and I asked you what was the main reason that you follow my YouTube channel? Was it for the fitness and the weight loss stuff or were you here for the girl boss videos? And I gave you two options and it's so crazy the amount of DMs that I got that I wasn't expecting that said, Hey girl, just saw your poll and want to let you know I didn't choose either of the two options because what I watch your channel for is like the mommy chit chats, the sit downs, like the real raw transparent talks about things that you go through and also like the follow me around vlogs. But the amount of you who follow me who are moms or who are single moms or who are going through a period of struggle right now and I guess just uh, want to keep up with my life updates, I wasn't aware. I mean, I know you guys like those videos, but I wasn't aware that such a majority of you were only here for like that kind of stuff. Um, so today I just wanted to do one of those. To be very honest with you, this has not been, okay, I'm not gonna cry yet. I'm gonna wait till later in the video because we're about to go in the store. Today is not, oh my God. Today has not been my morning or my afternoon. It feels like everything is just crashing down today and that's just me being very honest with you guys. I said I would keep you up to date with my moving situation and that's not uh, going too great. And I just wanna be really um, honest with you guys about like everything that's going on and I know I've put up a few like fitness videos and girl boss videos lately where I've been super happy and really excited about that content I've been putting up and all of that has been really genuine I've had a lot of like good times lately and fun with my son but in between all of that I have definitely been going through some things personally just that I haven't like voiced on YouTube I've realized to really like rein in what I share personally and not that all the time not every single thing needs to be shared so I've just been kind of like pulling back on some of that but today just with a bunch of stuff like all crumbling at once kind of it feels like I just feel like today is like the the right time to make a video um, so my mom actually has my son for like two and a half more hours um, so we're actually gonna run into Toys R Us right here it's closing down so I believe everything in the store is like 60 to 70 percent off and I really want to go in there and get Christian a new bike because I want to surprise him this afternoon his current bike the um, training wheels on the back are like off center and that one of them is like falling off um, and the bikes are super cheap they're only like 80 80 to 90 bucks full price so with this huge discount I thought this would be a good time I thought it'd be really cool to surprise him with that this afternoon because on Honestly, uh, why am I getting so emotional? Okay, I always wanna like cut these parts out of the video, but this is just like real. Um, honestly, he's like my only, he's my only joy, right? Obviously I don't have like a relationship at the moment and like work is such a passion for me and so fun for me. Uh, sorry you guys, there's just so many things the past few weeks that are like, it's all, all the emotion is coming up at once, I guess. Um, Christian just when I'm like I'm having a really hard morning and hard afternoon and I just I wanted to do something to get my to get my mood better and to put myself in a happier headspace and to just you know change my mindset and be genuinely happy today and seeing Christian happy is what makes me happy so ugh, I just thought it'd be cool to run in Toys R Us really quick get him a bike if he needs any if I see anything else in there that I want to grab for him we'll do that because a bunch of stuff is on sale so let's go get that. Then I'm gonna meet you guys back here in the car for the like chit chat. All right guys, let's see what we can find. I got a cart because it's me and you just never know what you're gonna find. So I really want to get him one of these cars and every time we come in here he keeps asking for one but honestly until we own a home there's really no place for him to ride one of these but they are on sale but not that much only 10% off so they're still about you know three to like 500 but oh it's so cool when we own a home I definitely want to get him one I think that'd be super cute but for now we'll just go find a bike actually this one looks super cool it's a, it's definitely a bigger body than his last bike but and it's got the wheels Ooh, yeah, let's do this one. I'm gonna go ask an employee if they can get it down for me. All right, there was no employee nearby, so, you know, I just bust that bitch down myself. So let's go pay. All right, 
we're back okay wanted to just like catch up with you guys like I mentioned at the beginning and do like a full like life just like a chit chat update about where I'm at and again I always I know my audience is very supportive and I don't ever need to have like a disclaimer or anything but I always just want to make it known in these videos that I have an incredible life I'm so grateful for Christian I'm so grateful for my job like I don't ever want these real like raw chit chats to come off as a complaint uh, in any way because I'm so grateful for my current situation but like anyone else I go through things a lot of things that are very very hard on me you know mentally Ugh, god I ain't getting my period or something because a bitch is emotional lately uh, like anyone else you know I go through things and I've mentioned this so many times in videos I know it sounds repetitive but with acquiring a following and having made good money the past few years like that doesn't mean you're not gonna go through things or that people on social media aren't going through things behind the scenes that you know nothing about which is why I try to say on my Instagram all the time like be kind to people people with millions of followers could be having so many issues behind the scenes and you have no idea so it's just like you know be kind to people and and I am at I would say like a phase in my life where I'm overall genuinely happy and like I said very grateful for Christian but just a lot's happening so basically you guys know I want to move I promised I would share my home buying journey with you of being a first-time home buyer um, you guys know I've been wanting a new car for so long and I don't know it just it gets me emotional because you know I see so many people on social media and my friends and other people who are succeeding and they're doing so amazing right and it's very hard for me because I want I want all that stuff for myself and for Christian. I want a nice house, a nice place to live. I, of course I want a nice car, you know, it's not a necessity, but it's, I've been working really hard and I've been saving money and those are things I want. And then I see people's, you know, posts in, you know, Range Rovers and on vacation and Bora Bora and like, it's very hard. I preach all the time that that's not real life and you can't compare your life to someone's highlights. And like, I know that's not necessarily all realistic, but, I want that stuff for myself as well and I feel like I'm working just as hard as those other people uh, I, I don't specifically know their personal life but I feel like I'm working so so hard and I you know I'm not, not at that level quite yet where I've attained all that stuff and I know those blessings are coming like at the right time in God's timing and I just need to have a little bit of patience um, but yeah recently you guys know I've been wanting to move um, so basically I ended up applying for a home literally my dream home had everything I've been wanting everything I've been sharing with you guys like an open layout um, um, hardwood in every single room of the house not an inch of carpet in there a huge backyard perfect for Christian my dream like white kitchen ah, literally everything gets me emotional lately uh, like my dream white kitchen and just everything basically I didn't get the house they picked someone else um, and I just I promise you guys I'd be really transparent with my home buying journey and let you know how it goes because it's so different for me being self-employed I have realized even though this is the most like success I've ever had and the most money I've ever had saved up applying for things when you're self-employed is really hard and it's been a struggle for me lately with getting a car and getting a house a lot of people don't like so with YouTube and stuff obviously you get paid for through different sponsors your pay is always changing one month you can work with a brand one month you can work with a different brand sometimes Sometimes they Venmo you, sometimes they PayPal you, sometimes they give you a 1099. And when you go to apply for things, you know, normal home people who want to give you a home or give you a car, they want to see a stable pay. They want to see that you have a W-2. They want to see that you've had a stable job for years. A lot of people still don't necessarily fully understand being self-employed with YouTube and Instagram. And they don't really understand. Like if you told them, oh, I do Instagram for a living, people are like, what? Like a lot of people and this, this uh, family who was selling this house, they're older. They were like 50. I think they were like 60 like this old couple who was um, not saying that's old but they were like renting out their retirement home and they ended up telling me that they like checked out my YouTube and they thought I was amazing and like they supported me but they they didn't understand like the type of income that I had of course I submitted all my pay I made plenty to get this house basically the uh, mortgage would be pretty close to what I'm paying in my rent on my current condo so definitely something I could afford um, and I guess they just thought the way they worded it they thought you know every month my pay could go up and down it just wasn't stable and like even though I have plenty in the bank and you know my credits totally fine now um, I have repaired it from a few years ago that I shared with you guys um, and you know this is a response I've got from a lot of people over the years when I've applied for my previous three apartments it's been really hard to get approved I've totally made enough money and like I know that my job is stable but having to explain to people how I get paid from different sponsors every month and like compile all my 1099s and all my PayPal statements like it's been really tough and that's hard like it's hard for me to know that I'm making the most I've ever made 
um, and you know I have a lot in savings and stuff and I see other people who make less than me who are homeowners and who have like really nice cars and like it's easier for them to get approved for stuff and like the family they ended up choosing for this house well, I'm not sure how much they made or anything I don't know if I like made more than them but I guess they were married and the reason they accepted them into this they basically won this house over me is because they had two incomes um, and I'm sure they were just like normal retail jobs or whatever they did you know they had like two w-2s put together and it just seems to be so much easier when uh, approving you looking in you're like a family and you've got stable income and there's two people there and it just I don't know like I said I know my time is coming I know my perfect home is out there and this just wasn't like the one um, but you know I just I'm so ready to just move Christian into one place and stay there and it be consistent I don't want him to constantly have to be moving I want him to grow up and see that I work really hard and I want to give him the world like everything I want him to just have one house that he can grow up in and you know like I'm sick of moving I'm sick of and to be really honest with you guys I'm sick of doing everything on my on my own as well and again I, I hesitate saying that so much because I know a lot of you look up to me and I get messages and DMs on Instagram all the time of like you I'm a single mom too and like looking up to you seeing how you've done it how do you manage all your time with YouTube and your son and like you must be such a boss managing your time and like you're doing amazing I'm not doing amazing all the time you guys like yes I try to keep it together again which I've like talked about this before but I and I hesitate coming on camera and, and being like like breaking down and showing you guys that I am like also going through this when I know a lot of you look up to me I don't want to be like necessarily like quotes a role model who is having a breakdown of their own you know but yeah I mean being single with Christian for so long like he's five and a half you know I would have Obviously, I wish I would have met someone by now who's, you know, amazing and a great role model for him and we could be doing everything together. Uh, you know, we could be applying for a house together and like just everything that I've got to do for Christian on my own is a lot for one person. And I would, I would do it all over again. Like I would do anything that I need to do for Christian, I will do it. Like please know that's not a complaint. Anything this kid needs, like he's my whole life, I'll, I'll do it, you know? It's just that mentally it does wear down on me and physically like I I'm exhausted sometimes you guys know Christian gets sick very often we actually just did two of his like breathing treatments last night I stayed up till like 3 30 a.m. because I wanted to make sure he was still breathing like I wanted to make sure he wasn't straining and that he was like elevated when he was sleeping there's a lot of like extra cautionary things I have to do to keep up with Christian's health and with his speech delay and do like extra learning time at home and just so many things that I have to do extra with him because he was preemie and needs that extra attention and again that's fine it's just it's a lot for one person you know and some weeks I'll feel like I am a total boss babe and I've got my time management down and like I'm doing everything right and then the next week it will just get to me because especially with really wanting to advance my YouTube and social media and my Academy courses all of that requires so much of me and so much of a time investment from me again which is fine I absolutely love my job and I'm doing it because I'm passionate about it but I've just put myself in a place where I have to be accessible to you guys excuse me um, so so much you know I still try to respond to a bunch of direct messages and like the, all the comments on YouTube and like just doing all of that and trying to be fully present with Christian has always been a little bit of a struggle on how to like balance everything. Um, and yeah, you guys know I've talked, of course I've talked about like wanting a relationship. I, I wish Christian had a stable father figure in his life who would, you know, from the beginning, but that's not how it was. I don't want anything to do with his dad. He doesn't want anything to do with us. He is fully out of the picture. So that's not an option at all. I was just wishing, I was really hoping that, you know, as Christian got older here, I would have finally met someone and we'd be together forever and that would be it you know I've had three pretty like intense uh, heartbreaks in my life and I feel like three is plenty I feel like I learned a lot from each one and I don't need another one so I am just manifesting you know that the next person who I end up with it that is gonna be the forever one and that's gonna be my soulmate and every single thing that I went through and the heartbreak and all the struggle with Christian on my own the hospital and NICU and like all that is gonna be so incredibly worth it when I you know do find that person and we can start our like forever life together and that sounds like corny um, 
and again not a complaint like I know there's single moms out there who are raising three kids by themselves who are like working two jobs and it's like I feel bad even coming on here and being emotional it's like who am I to complain when I do have an incredible life I am I want to let you guys know I'm so aware of that and I'm so aware of that because you watch my videos and my Instagram and everything that that's why I even have what I have um, but at the same time I'm just recognizing that I do have these feelings and these times when I, I go through shit as well and I want to just be real about that because I think a lot of social media is not fake but only showing the good and only showing the highlights and only showing the success and the money and like I want to share my accomplishments with you guys but I also want to share like the shitty time like the days when I, I just feel like shit like today was like a full this morning I had like two full breakdowns before I went out to run my errands um and yeah, I don't know, I just, I always, and these are the videos I'm like most apprehensive to put up, but then I always get the best comments of like, we're here for you, I'm also going through that, thank you for showing me that, you know, even with a social media following or like whatever you want to call it, that you also go through shit. And like those are the YouTubers and Instagrammers I relate to the most, people who post the re actual real stuff and I truly get to know their heart and their personality more. So that's like, even though I'm always apprehensive to upload these videos, that's like what keeps me doing it because I... I just want to stay like you know as connected with you guys and just keep it real on like shit I'm going through certain stuff like I said I am gonna have to start keeping private I realized at the beginning of my YouTube journey I was maybe sharing a little bit too much so I've kind of reined some of that in uh, but certain things I do still want to let you guys in on and it wouldn't be me if I didn't like just turn on the camera and like share with you because I do think of you guys as more than subscribers and for four years I've shared my whole life so I want to continue to do that um, so yeah, I may end off this vlog right here. If the vlog ends after this, just know that when I got home, Christian was napping and I couldn't show you any footage. Or we're gonna go home and surprise him with the bike. Uh, we will see. But either way, I love you guys. I truly, truly appreciate you. I'd appreciate, just give this video a thumbs up for me if you are into the, just like the raw life updates. Uh, really does let me know what you guys wanna see. I appreciate you and I love you and I'm gonna see you in the next one.